And if we'll obey God, we'll be blessed. Praise God. Amen. Amen. And that's the reason I do it. Me and my wife tithes. We're, 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 gonna, we're tithe. We're, we'll never quit tithe. We're going to tithe, tithe to the longest day we live or Jesus comes back. And we're going to give to the longest day we live or, or until Jesus comes back. Amen. And God said he loves a cheerful giver. Amen. And we're going to be cheerful in our giving. Now, so they rose up and they got mad when they heard Jesus say these things. And they rose up and thrust him out of the city. And led him to the brow of the hill wherein the city was built that they might cast him down headlong. Boy, you're talking about making people mad. Now look at that. Here's the, here's the anointed of God, the Christ. The Christ. And said, saying things like this prophecy is fulfilled this day in your ears. I am the anointed one. I'm I'm anointed now to preach the gospel to the poor, to, 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 to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives, recovering of sight to the blind, and set at liberty them that are bruised. And, and, and I was reading, I think it was in Amplified, uh, the, uh, to set at liberty them that are bruised, just them that are trodden down with a, just just... The world has just beaten them up. He said, I'm sent to bring them out. Whew. That's good stuff. And now they got mad and want to cast him, take him, listen, rose up, thrust him out of the city, led him into the brow of the hill wherein their city was built. We're talking about our Lord Jesus here now. People doing that. Some people today are doing that same thing. Yeah, they are. And you just don't realize it. And, uh, but he passed and through the midst of them went his way, came down to Capernaum, a city of Galilee, taught them on the Sabbath days. And they were astonished at his doctrine, for his word was with power. Was well, here too. And in the synagogue there was a man which had a spirit of an unclean devil. Notice where he was too. Mm -hmm. Plenty of them around. In the synagogue, what's a man? What's a man with an unclean spirit doing in the synagogue? What's a man? What's a man with unclean spirit want anything to do with the house of God? And he cried out, saying with a loud voice, saying, "Let us alone! What have we to do with thee, thou Jesus of Nazareth? Art thou come to destroy us?" I know thee who thou art, the Holy One of God. That's what the devil was saying. Boy, it's something, you know, you know what? Some of us, I, I'll be honest with you, and I'm not, I'm not going to do it, but some of us need rebuked because we won't even acknowledge him as much as the stinking devil. The devil would have something better to say about Jesus than, than some folks. That's supposed to be Christian people. Now that ain't the way it's supposed to be. He said, I know who thou art, the Holy One of God. And these, these other people up here couldn't see that. They got mad. These, these old religious folk up here, they got mad when Jesus said, well, now, you know, see, they wanted him to do something there. And he said, well, there was many uh, lepers in, in, in the... Uh, in the days of Elias, but he was only sent to one. There was many widows, and, but, but Elias was only sent to one. And that made them so mad. Amen. Amen. And Jesus, verse 35, and Jesus rebuked him saying, hold thy peace and come out of him. Now, I don't know if Jesus, I, he may have done that before, but he hadn't done it before he was anointed by God. The devils hadn't, I don't believe they had recognized him until he was anointed by God and he became the Christ. Amen. And he said, hold your peace and come out of him. 
And when the devil had thrown him in the midst, he came out of him and hurt him not. And they were all amazed and spake among themselves, saying, What a word is this? For with authority and power, now notice that, authority and power, he commanded the unclean spirits, and they come out. And the fame of him went out into every place of the country round about. So Jesus came and he was full of the Holy Ghost. And Acts 10, 38 says how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power who went about doing good and healing all that was oppressed of the devil for God was with him. Now, if we... If we want the power of God in our life, we're going to have to walk with God. 